Hello and welcome to another week on iRacing, which means new tracks for all our favorite series. Uh, this time, it's the NASCAR Legends, 1987s, and we're here at Legacy Michigan. I think it's Legacy Michigan, right? Not uh, not current Michigan? Pretty sure it's Legacy. Um, anyway, whatever Michigan era it is, presumably Legacy, most of these 87 races are on old versions of the tracks. Uh... The tires absolutely shred off, as they typically do in these in this series, but just like a crazy amount. Like, I, you'll do one lap and you're already at like 94%. So, I'm actually going to take pit exit there a little softer, and lap one will definitely be your faster lap. That's how bad the tires fall off and how quickly. So, we'll see how good we can do in our qualifying lap here. I think we should be able to get a good enough run uh, from the top up here. Maybe got it a little bit too high up, but I'm uh, going to have to nail the first lap here because it's the only one that really matters, to be honest with you. And uh, obviously you got to run it pretty darn hard, much harder than you would in the race. I didn't quite nail that, but that's fine. I am the number one, unfortunately. Uh, it seemed like we had somewhat decent participation. I think we had like 30 plus people, but uh, still ended up the number one, unfortunately. Oh, well, normally you don't really want to cut below that line. Uh, that should decent, be decent enough, though. I'm not going to be in the very back or anything. And it's all going to be about who saves tires the best anyway. But if you watch here, go, I'm going to go just as hard as I did before. And look, look at that time. Like multiple tenths off, even after just one lap. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you just how much the tires are falling off. We're talking like 5-6% a lap if you run it like this. So during the race, I'm definitely going to be easing off. Um, <laughs> I'm a little nervous because... I'm famously not very good at saving tires, but I'll see what I can do, try to use the brake bias to my advantage and all that, but yeah, like four tenths off there. We got beat for the pole, makes sense, because it was not my best lap. Still P2 at the moment, which isn't that bad. And then thankfully, the uh, pit entry at Michigan is pretty straightforward, pretty simple, so. Hopefully no repeat of my C open at Dover mistake speeding on entry. So take a look. I've kind of just uh, been measuring it by uh, when I come around the corner. As soon as I see that little tip of the grass up here, then start hitting the brakes and then uh, not do anything too crazy. Just gradually slow down and get to that 55. So if we have to do green flag pit stops, I think I've uh, I've got it down. Get my crew chief ready to tell me all about fuel and whatnot as we roll on through and practice not overdriving my stall, hopefully. Thanks for not even bothering with the lollipop, my friend. Or, you know, whatever you would call that brake sign, I guess. Maybe that's not what the... Anyway, <laughs> P2. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and just hop out to show you the tires, like I said. Look at that, 94 and 97 after doing just two qualifying laps. So in a 60 lap race, that's gonna add up pretty darn quick. So gonna have to be careful and uh, not run qualifying laps out there, obviously. Um, as for my settings I chose, I don't usually mess with the steering ratio on these cars because it feels so floaty anyway with 12 to one. I just, I don't know if I trust myself to do higher, <laughs> higher numbers. So I just kind of have to be careful that I'm not just cranking the wheel. And uh, personally, I liked negative four steering offset because the default, which is, I believe, just zero. It's, uh, it's kind of feeling like it was turning to the right a little bit. And I just, I prefer it centered if possible. So uh, I found it was pretty, pretty well centered at negative four. And uh, brake balance starts at like 53. I went ahead and moved it down, see if I can get some more rotation. I don't know if that's the uh, the correct move. My general thing is like, 
uh, lower the brake bias as much as you can <laughs> and uh, to the point of not spinning that's probably the caveman approach you know hit the computer with a rock to see if it fixes it kind of approach but uh, that's about as good as I can figure it out you know take it as low as you can to uh, get rotation from braking and hopefully it'll work well enough uh, there's going to be a lot more to it than just that to uh, keep the tires on this thing though so I ended up with the P2. That's cool with me. I always end up P2 though. I hate to having to look to the bike. left, but the should be fine. Hopefully you guys will be somewhat patient on the start. I guess we'll find out. And I'm uh, just going to jump right to session last lap. And do myself a favor and not try to get my session best lap at any point in this race. Unless we got like a one lap shootout at the end or something. Because, uh... You're not going to be fast in the long run if you try hitting those fast laps. That's for sure. So. Alright, 60 laps. I guess. Mm, it's tough pitting if we end up having to do green flag pit stops in this series. Because uh, it's not so great if you get stuck a lap down. And, uh, man, I just I hate being a lap car and having to be the guy, you know, at the front of the field or whatever. I'm not even sure I completely understand the best way to go about that. I know you don't actually have to, if I'm not mistaken, move up to the front of the field as a lap car, even though you do have the right to that spot. I think you can actually hang back, but I don't know exactly the rules on that stuff. And uh, I probably should, but hopefully don't end up a lap down in the first place. One or more laps down in the first place, so... Yeah, that's probably not the best approach. Be like, well, I hope that situation doesn't happen, because that's usually how that situation ends up happening. But for now, we're on the lead lap, and we're starting P2, and it looks like everyone's already in their cars and ready to go. Which I am all about. Let's get this thing going. I'm excited for another week on air racing. Got lots of series I'm uh, interested to try out, as usual. So... The mm, tires, two sets of tires. Like I said, gonna need them. I need them at some point. Looks like perhaps a second gear start. Because I believe too close to the limiter. Okay, yes, so second gear start. Not gonna have tire spin in that case. Because we're gonna be hitting the uh hitting the throttle wall hovering around five thousand RPM, so. Not gonna have to worry about tire spin. That's good. Just try to get a good jump, despite having to be awkward looking to our left as we uh, get going here. Make sure I'm in the right positioning. Okay. Just hoping the guys don't run us over from behind. I don't want to feel like I have to push it at all. I want to be able to save my tires if possible, and hopefully it's not a wreck fest either. There were a couple, uh, couple, half dozen people spinning in the open practice before hopping in this server, so uh, might have to think about that if there's going to be cautions. About to go green, stay focused. But maybe uh, guys will keep it clean. Here's hoping. Stay Both cars off. Time to do your job. Go. Hey, that's a pretty good jump, I think. Felt like he was kind of like a little on the throttle and then a little bit off the throttle, kind of maybe trying to get a good jump. Kind of hard to tell. Might have just been in my head. So uh, definitely not gonna be overdriving. Any chance I can avoid doing it? It's gonna be hard though. Tires are going to wear, whether you like it or not, that's for sure. But uh, as much as I can prevent it from happening, I'm going to be all about it. All right, Colton, decent start. We can build something from here. See if we can get all of our run off of the corner. Not have to dive in at all. So if he wants to go out, uh, out in front there, that is cool with me. So 
guy approaching from behind. Honestly, that's a good thing if they're approaching on entry because it means that I'm not the guy driving into the corner the hardest. <laughs> Which uh, typically is bad news if you want to be keeping it, keeping the tires on it. Gotta be patient on the throttle and not put any extra pressure on the right front on exit. Big long corners here at Michigan, two mile track, so. Takes a while to get around. Around it. The guy behind has just done a 42.5. I just have a feeling the tire uh, tire uh, management is going to be huge. So keep an eye on this guy behind us, though. Hopefully he'll be able to hit the brakes for me and not just run me over. So I have a game plan and I plan on sticking to it. So if he wants to pass, he can go right on ahead. And I will take this draft from the four. That doesn't hurt at all either. Yeah, you weren't clear. Come on. Are they wrecking? Good day. Hearing stories of people not being clear. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Hitting us from behind as I very much wished he wouldn't. Okay. Thank you kindly. Please don't do it again. You can see that I'm taking the entry softly. I do believe that should be the only thing you can see at the front window, for the most part. So. Thankfully, he didn't hit us hard enough to spin us or anything. And uh, I really enjoy the fact that it looks like our lap times are even still, for the most part. We were at uh, 0 .01 there on the back stretch. It's going all the way to the wall, which tells me maybe he's on that accelerator on corner exit. And, uh, conversely, we are not fully on the accelerator. There might be a point where we want to be straddling that seam to get the car turning some more. Once this thing gets tighter, that might be a, a real big help to us. Take it so much faster, but don't think that's the play. Just kind of maintaining that point eight or so. Seems like so far. Positioning, I think, is going to be pretty big. Making sure that you're running that second lane. Michigan, you don't want to be on the bottom lane because I think it's the banking that's different. It's slightly more banked the higher up you go, so typically any car you bring here it's going to be that second lane. I feel like I've mentioned this before. I probably say it every time we come to Michigan, but that's because it's true and it's something I'm thinking about at this moment as I'm driving, so essentially what, what my videos are. Just me uh, talking about what I'm thinking. Kind of hard to think about anything else <laughs> whenever I you're trying to... I see that Spain, are you kind of Dave to Spain? Oh. For the 1,976 <laughs> time, no. Yeah, that sucks. Funny, I say, like, oh, it's hard to think about anything other than racing. That guy's up there winning the race, thinking, worry, are you related to you, this guy? Uh, President <laughs> John Adams, no, that some bitch died like 200 years ago. <laughs> but you are the Hank Hill guy. Can we get some, please? Hill guy. 
Hey, fuck, Charlie. God dang it, boy. I told you not to bring that shit up again. <laughs> he is the hand kill guy. <laughs> oh, I love it. Classic John Adams. Thank you. <laughs> I just heard they were going to revive King of the Hill. Yeah, I love that sure. show. That's what I'm all about. I like going to the Mega Lamarck, buy me some propane, because I don't like that strip on propane. That's just low budget. I like getting it from Mega Lamarck. This is imposter Hank Hill. Real Hank Hill wouldn't say anything bad about Strickland propane. <laughs> That's how you know it's the evil Hank Hill. Anyway. Things moving on a little bit. I'm still just taking it easy. This guy wants to pass behind me. He sure can. I just prefer he would pass me by not running through me. As he's tried once and still has made me nervous a time or two <laughs> since then. Getting close to my bumper. Long way to go here, so... Don't need any of that. Yeah, maybe I'm underdriving it. I don't know. It's uh, still out there, though. Even pulling away a little bit, so... Maybe I'm underdoing it. We'll find out. The laps continue. I keep the wheel straight and uh, the entry's gentle. Three is right on our bumper. Are you kidding me? Outside. How many times you gotta hit me from behind, man? I'm just trying to die, I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. You're on the bottom, three wide. Car outside, it's fine. I'll I'll heat up the rears a little bit. That doesn't bother me. <laughs> All right. Well, at least he was apologetic, I guess. <sighs> Obviously joking. Not good to slide the tires at all. <laughs> but uh, kind of look at the bright side. To being half dumped. Yeah, already doesn't feel as good still, so thank you. Appreciate that. At least we still got a little bit of a gap behind us to fifth. Right sides. <laughs> Try not to be the guy that just complains constantly during the race, I imagine that's probably not fun to listen to. Even though I am quite good at complaining. <laughs> so they look like they're going to battle for second. I'll just try to keep up, take the draft, cover a little bit after lighting the tires up there for no fault of my own. Oh boy, that's scary, sliding up like that. Well, at least we did save it. Thankfully, I uh, weren't in a big crowd or anything, so... Not gonna get destroyed or anything. Gonna get my rhythm back a little bit. Gallons. It's a uh, creature said fuel windows lap 11 or something like that. Obviously, that would be way too early, but we can make it on fuel to the end if we get there, and we already have. So, it's good to know. I don't know if the crew chief always had that ability. That might have been an update we got. I don't know if I remember hearing that in the past. That's cool. Appreciate all the info I can get. Is the leader falling off a bit? Kind of looks that way. See, it's 0.8 in front of second place, which is uh, closer than when I was up there earlier. It was about a second earlier. Still focusing on getting the exit speed. Not too much to... Uh, Talk about now, just hitting the laps, 
Trying to be easy on it. Try to reduce the uh, number of times of getting hit from behind to at least one. Or at most one, rather. Probably no more than that is needed. What's this uh, scheme we got? It looks like Dale Earnhardt's scheme, but it's like it got a hidden scheme behind it, tearing away. Trying to decipher what the theme is here. Guess I'll just have to get a little bit closer, huh? <laughs> Gotta be a little faster if I want to find out what the scheme is all about. Some red under there? What is that? It's too blurry. Center pretty good and get the exit. Hit that seam. Feels good. Okay, so lap 17. Taking him away. We haven't had a caution, which is fantastic. If I believed in Jinxes, I would probably be kicking myself right now, but options are gonna happen at any time in this series regardless, so. Still don't know what the scheme is. What does that mean? Trying to figure out what that paint scheme under it is. Does that say Budweiser? Is it supposed to be like uh, Dale Jr.'s under it? Kind of neat. 19 having a great run. Has the number 19 in third. Always try to root for the higher number guys. We see them up here. Having a good run. Especially if they are the ones that have not run me over. <laughs> A little bit uh, above the line there, driving up there. Just gonna inch a little further, farther toward him. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of a Dale Jr. game. All right, we pulled forward and figured out what it was a little bit better. <laughs> How fun! He's going way up there. I wonder if he was looking in his rear view at me. Ended up up there. Clear up top. Or maybe he did it on purpose to let me by. I don't know. If that were the case, I would say thank you, but I don't want to, like, be insulting and say, hey, thanks for letting me have it, and then be like, <laughs> oh, I didn't give it to you on purpose. <laughs> That's probably pretty demoralizing if that happens, so I don't want to be that guy that does that. So suddenly we're about one second behind uh, second place. Still happy with uh, where I'm at in terms of not overdriving it. I think I'm doing an alright job. I wonder how much better it would be if I hadn't. Tokyo drifted through the corner, but still feeling pretty good. And of course, I don't have to win the race to be happy. Top five would be great. It looks like we're in great shape to uh, pull that off. So, plus, if we do end up getting these green flag stops, never mind. Just throw that thought right into the gutter. We don't need that thought anymore. We do need tires, though. That is something we do need. And fuel to the end of the race. And suddenly, green flag pit stops are not a thing. Bummer. I always like being able to do them when I can, especially if I'm feeling good about it. And not going to speed on entry. We'll get up a little closer, and then if we had like a couple seconds of damage in the back, maybe we'll get... Uh, some of that shaved off. I'm not going to sit and wait, though. I think track position is going to be important. Excuse me. Pit road's open. I think track position is going to be too important because trying to pass people is going to hurt the tires. So I'm going to get that track position. Or keep it, rather. And uh, take our tires. It's about that time in the race. We got two sets. Lap 20 is about uh, when you're perfectly comfortable taking the uh, first set, I think. The leader, Adams, is pitting. Watch your speed limit yeah. in the pits. Pit lane speed limit is 55 miles per hour. Okay, Colton, we'll pull you to the end. 6.2 gallons. I'm going to put as much in there as I need. 
four, three, two, one. Box now. Rolling there a little softer. Don't feel the need to min max here. <laughs> Getting the turrs. Wonder if right sides would have been a good move. It looks like that's what that guy's doing. Curious. Maybe I should have done that. Okay, punch it. Lots of guys getting two tires. Maybe we'll do it later if we have to pit again. I think that'll be the time to do it. Shall really just take two tires? You sure Scott did. I'm sure John did too. Yep. Alright. Tony, I'm sorry, I could have sworn you started in front of me. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, four tires does nothing here. Just so y'all know. Four tires, it, it doesn't matter if you take two or four. It's the same amount of anything. So just take two every time you pit. That's all everybody knows in here. It's our open. I figured that might be the case. I just kind of thought about John, it too late. I don't know if you're being serious or joking. Are you serious? No, I'm, no, I'm dead serious. Every race I've won, I've took two tires. Even under green bike pit stops or even under pit stops, I've took two tires. Don't ever take left sides at this track because it's basically like a super speedway kind of. So just take two tires and you'll be good. Don't take four. There's no need to take four. All true words. My left sides were 86, 89, so. Yeah, well, my left side was 83, 88, but like I said, I never took left sides, and I finished them second, first, first, first. So I think the right side only is doing pretty good. Mm hmm. We'll do it uh, if we have to come in the pit again. All right, I'm coming down to the road taking right sides this time by, y'all. <laughs> Fastest chicken in the south is in front of us. It's impressive. Wonder how it uh, reaches the wheel. Eating a chicken and all. Two time dinner and cross stream with my. Uh... Oh, we got advertising. Okay. Really? Coke series winner? Got the number four? Oh. Cool. <laughs> So these guys all have two tires in front of us. Presumably. I didn't mess up the stop right now, so I don't see how anyone with four tires would be in front of us. We'll uh, see with our own two eyes how well it works. Compared to four. Oh, please. Green flag. Hmm. The chicken couldn't reach the gas pedal there for a moment. Hey, uh, so high, bud. Yeah, yeah, got me black flag, and it's did Really? You can throw it in there. Man, I'm gonna get black flag. I didn't get one. Well, I should be good for it. Still a long time to go in the race, so we're still gonna be in tire saving mode. And that's because you were jumping it. But yeah, you hitting the brakes there, I had to avoid you. Yeah, I got black flag to pass you. Hmm, gonna miss that track position though. Oh, this draft is pretty nice. Okay, we got wall on entry, that's a little scary. We gotta do this the hard way. That's a little scary. Don't like seeing that. We got more wall in front of us. Oh my lord. I didn't even jump it, I went on leader. I'm gonna get hit from behind by the three again. Yeah, but you were clearly past the six car before the green even came out. The car inside. So we got the, uh, the nose on them here. We'll try to get around them on the outside. We'll see how it works. Clear. Right in front of us. I 
This is why I didn't want to be behind guys. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Clear up top. Now I gotta use tires trying to get around them. And they're holding me back. Not a good spot to be in. Plus I'm just not good at <laughs> maneuvering this, so. Hmm. Yes. I should have just taken two tires for that reason alone. So blocked right now. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. You're up top three wide. Why are we three wide? Still hold. Inside, two wide. Still there. This is so unnecessary. Still there. This You're guy's up like top wrecking three below wide. us or something. Still there, still there. Inside, two wide, clear inside. Car inside. Alright. We're okay. Still there at the bottom. What the fuck, dude? The yellow flag is uh, they want you in well, can't take time. tires. It's too soon right to use our last set. Car. What was that, nine? We're in front of the ten, but he decides to continue on in front of us, I guess. Not gonna use tires during caution, so. Catch that twelve. Car. Closed. Pace car is out. Line up hmm. Car number 10. Potentially bad situation if someone does take tires and we go green to the end. You got plenty of fuel. Why don't I get turned? I think that's too big of a risk though for someone to take. But as we saw off with qualifying, these things fall off quick. And like I said, I'm not going to be wasting my tires during. Caution laps, so I'm just gonna go around these corners. Back off. Back, you. All right. Pete Road is now open. So we made our way to third. I'm glad we had the nose on the ten there, so we could uh, get to keep that spot. As we can see, the uh, two tires obviously do hold up just about as well as four tires, if not better. So, the guy was right. I should have remembered that and done two tires only, probably. But, uh, I mean, we got some takers. Or some fakers. We got some fakers. Oh, some takers in the back, though. They're probably going to wish they, get, uh, they still got tires at the end whenever we have another caution, though. Maybe I'm going to wish I had tires when they zoom by us later. Who knows? That's going to be a tough task, though. Because there's only going to be so much uh, of a tire difference at this point. And uh, having to come up through the field... Having to come up through the field is going to even out those tires pretty quick. So... Felt like I did an okay job making my way forward without killing the tires too much. There was a time or two I took the higher line up there, which was not good for it. But I didn't full throttle it or anything crazy, so hopefully uh wasn't too bad on it. Just kinda did. I just kinda went a little harder than I wanted to. Hopefully here we'll get some space and we'll be able to take the corners. Uh have we actually want to. And we are only halfway through this race. At 30 right now of 60. And in a good spot. I like where we are. Number four's got uh, got this track figured out pretty well, though. He's going to be a tough guy to overtake. Not sure if I'm up to that, but I think we can probably get by the 12 as long as everything goes smoothly. And I'm able to save the tires as well as I think I can. We'll see. Top five feels pretty good, at least. I'd be happy with that. How could you not be happy with a top five? I don't care if I'm the number one car. It's a top five. One to go. Next time by. That's always good. Unless there's five cars in the field, then maybe that's a little questionable when you get fifth. But 
with uh, however 20 whatever cars in here. 19, 20, 21. We yeah, have 21 people in here, so. Top 5 in a 21 car field. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Got like some lemons in front of us or something. Is that what that is? Not sure. Looks very summery though. I miss summer. <laughs> I missed summer as soon as it ended. I'm just more of a summer person than winter. Prefer not to go outside and all of a sudden my ears are frostbitten. That's not my favorite. Coming into the green. Hopefully we'll be able to get a good view. Maybe the guy in front of us will get a better jump this time. Here's hoping. About to go green. Stay focused. Get a good view of them, but it's a little difficult. Post car is off. Going. Okay. Green, green, green. I was able to kind of look through the mirror, or not the mirror, but the window there, and see them get rolling. And it looks like we got a nice jump on the guys behind us. Half throttle it here. Going through turn one. A little hard to judge how hard you should take it. Get up there and make a hole. Five off ball. And now we got some breathing room. Let's hit those brakes. Enter this corner a little softer. Seam, alright. Of course, says he's won some races, so that makes me think maybe I don't have to go this soft in order to make it last, but, uh, who knows. Overdrove that a little bit more than I wanted to. The run off, though. Feeling good. Enjoying that brake bias, helping pull me to the left. Well, we're getting real close to that outside wall. Is he going to let me by, or is uh, he protecting the outside line? Not quite sure. He's let me by. It's very nice to Appreciate it, 12. Alright. Assuming he did on purpose, I hope it wasn't that situation I talked about before, but... Uh, seems like he let me by. Maybe he uh, detects that I'm going a little bit too, uh, too hard. Maybe I am. Find out. Half tempted to just go for it. I feel like I can put up a decent gap if I really do uh, go 100%. Better out of four. Oh. In the grass. No cautions. Please, no cautions. I don't want it to make oh, that decision. Okay. I tracked the bumper and I didn't think I was that close. I thought I was going very loose. Not even past you. I thought I was you guys are running each other over in the corner and again, it sounds like. Wall, but I guess not. Actually, that reminds me. Who am I to even complain about a guy running into the back of me, considering I did that to someone at uh, B Open Indianapolis? <laughs> so, maybe that's some delayed karma I deserve from that. There's the evidence of the spin. There you go. Don't hit the wall. Wasn't well, trying here. It's catching up from behind, but I'm pretty happy with the uh, pace I'm going right now. Don't really want to push it any harder than this. If this goes green to the end, 
Maybe we'll find that the four took it a little too hard. When we got room though, and I'm feeling comfortable enough, I will cut that apron just a little bit. Even if it's a tenth. Or not a tenth, but a, like a thousandth of a second. You know. If that ten laps in a row is a tenth. Or, you know. Yeah, the gap to is now more <laughs> Math. Two takes all they sound like they're gonna wreck again, though. Sounds like there's lots of uh, people running into the back of each other and stuff. Who's gonna drive it in there real deep? I'm concerned a little bit by this gap. I have to hope that it's because he's overdriving it. But no real way to know that for sure. Focus on my positioning. Get my speed through the corners by having a good angle on it. Rather than forcing it with the wheel and with the throttle. And I just try to keep that, uh, that number at the top as close to 0.00, .00 as we can. It's a little, uh, a little slower than that. That's Hello, fine. Bud. Natural fall yeah, off. Yeah. It's gonna happen. You wear it out. Look, it's my favorite guy that loves to run into the back of me. I do believe so. Behind us once again. I've been used up all race, so. No. Will we be tagged a third time this race? Yeah, hard entry to kill him. <sighs> He's driving away up there. Come on, man. I'm gonna stick to my plan, though. Hey, Drew, you bend the back end of my car up. Nah, you're all good, bud. Hey, you got the meatball flag off there. That's awesome. My pie. Can't do nothing, you know. They're uh, hitting each other pretty hard back there, it sounds like. I think that guy said he had a meatball flag, so apparently. He hit the wall pretty hard or something. Or hit another person really hard. Some of these guys can't drive two tires. I was driving two tires this time. You still have been me for me in the wall. He's trying to be consistent. Running out of time a little bit though. Like I said, I am pretty concerned about the gap he's putting out there. It does maybe appear that he knows how to be fast and save tires. He's still he's still stretching it too. Up some time in that corner, I think, didn't we? 2.2, I think it was like 2.4 a second ago. Got a better runoff though. Stretch 2.3. Oh my Jesus Christ. You really hit me again. You know, you don't have to run the exact line at me if you want to pass me. You can a high line or something, get a run. I'm gonna be really mad if this guy hits me yet again. Inside, yeah, there you have the nose. There you go. Are you gonna fight me for it so we can neither of us can get the win? Still there. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna let him buy here. Try to do it without losing too much time. Don't wanna fight the guy. So we're definitely not going to have a chance at the leader if we fight it for 
too long. Look at how much time we lost, like half a second through that exchange. So, I'm not going to try to repass him. I'm going to use the draft and hopefully we can catch up to number four. I'm here to uh, try to get the win, not try to get second place. I'll be perfectly happy with anywhere in the top five, but if there's a chance, obviously I'm going to do everything I can to try to get up there. I feel like entering that much harder is just not going to do any good for anyone. What's that, buddy? Drives a corner. What the hell, man? Oh, oh, uh, Alright. So much for saving tires, I guess. You don't have a right to pull me up into the wall, man. I can not put you anywhere near the wall, dude. Tire time, and this time, we learned our lesson. Oh, okay, there. No fuel. Right side tires. And a chance to go a little higher than 45% on effort. <laughs> Yeah, no problem there, Colton. Sorry, I was trying to get my mic to work. I was going to see if one of you guys could run down John. I don't know if it's going to happen in this race. Did I say something? Yeah, I didn't want to be swapping spots too much. I thought maybe we'd have a chance if we uh, kept it single file, but uh, now it's all shaken up. Sometimes I worry I accidentally hey, hit the mic there. button and they hear me complaining about them. <laughs> it's open. You should watch the re replay there, bud. You did that to me one lap, and I didn't put put you in anywhere, and then I did it to you, and look what you did to me. I, look at what I you've done. What I did, man. I watched the replay. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I was ra I raced through clean, I thought, for three laps. Tires are an obvious you one here. You turned into me, dude. No, you hit me and mm -hmm. moved me in and turned me into you. Mm-hmm. No, you put yourself on the white line, and my job was going to keep you on that white line. Did you stay on that white line? I don't think you did. <laughs> oh, he mad. Box in five. Oh well. Wasn't that bad. That's it, go. Mm, spot the tires a bit. You're out of the right set for tires. They want you in single file. <laughs> At least we got out ahead of that guy. Hello. Catch that four, car. I think he just black flagged himself. Rip the tires off doing that. Oh, we got some no tire takers. This one. Not sure about that one. Should be pretty simple to get around them though. Yeah, I just watched the replay. You moved up two lanes there, but uh, maybe if we had green white checkers, two lanes. Maybe no tires it's can get you uh, the lottery at the end if we get another caution. But didn't think I did. with this thing ending. Too pretty late. soon here. I was actually in the middle of the straightaway when you took me out. With this thing ending pretty soon, guaranteed. Of which Gotta work these tires. Well, that explains a lot if you don't even I didn't even notice the North 4 actually track. came out behind the 3. I was behind it. The car on the top was two lanes from the wall. One to go. Next time by. Well, I remember. That our tires are gonna, or it's gonna be a little bit looser because we have right sides only. Imagine. I came up in the middle of the track. He was. You come up and do it, me, bud. Don't even talk about it. You do it, me. No, you did. 
I was in my lane running the high side. You come up and door me. I gave you plenty of room on both sides. And I was beneath you and I was above you, all right? Do I continue listening you to your... You got tired of with me, so you doored me. I just watched the replay. You you're, you had a whole, like, car and a half towards the wall. You you come up the two lanes, man. Mm -hmm. You come up from the bottom up to here. Something to do, I guess, while we're waiting. What would it be? I'm in the pit still, you know, I got a minute 35 required, but where you at right now? Michigan. Well, actually, I'm sitting in my chair at home, but thanks for asking. Anyway. Three or took the four. Four's got great speed, but, uh, not tire saving anymore. Let's see what we can do. Rust bucket up there is on old tires. Hopefully he doesn't get run over. For everyone's sake. I would like to actually do some racing to the checkered flag and not do it under yellow. Green flag, green flag. Hard to see. Had a bit of a stutter there, but and then it'll be too bad. We're gonna go quick. We don't know a caution could come out at any time. Don't think tires are gonna matter as much anymore. They're wrecking. Come on, guys. I'd like to finish this race. Not under caution. We could get that done. Sorry, Okay. Yeah, I'm going on the bottom like an idiot. Thing that tight. Maybe the just guy up front's gonna win just because we're not gonna be able to do a lap. He might have the thousand IQ plays up there. This car in the back stretch. It's a conspiracy. He's friends with every one of those guys that are wrecking. Maybe They're doing it on purpose. I had a run. I didn't want to let it go. <laughs> just kidding. Clint Boyer's arm is itchy or whatever. <laughs> Spin gate 2.0. Well, knowing this uh, this car, we probably shaved off about 10% on the right sides there. <laughs> I gotta wait around. How about that restart, Cody? It looked like they were gone and then they didn't, so. That might have been my fault. Yeah, I agree. I started going and then they checked up. Got 10 left to go. Oops, I think they're talking about me. <laughs> Let me be a little more careful. They really shouldn't be watching me, though. They should be watching the leader. Best they can, but I know you can't really always do that from where you are. Oh, my... Dude. Lucky dog goes high. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why would you come down to the apron when everybody's pinned down there? specifically to let you buy as the lucky dog okay I'm on edge right now I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm yelling at everyone over little things it's not a big deal it's fine you got loads it's fine you got loads of fuel don't even know why I felt the need to check but I did anyway come on we need to start another argument so I have something to do What's a controversial opinion about racing I could give while uh, under caution to make him start arguing? Uh, the car number slid forward is good. That'll get him yelling at me. Uh, 1.5 mile tracks should be every track on the schedule. That'll probably get him mad too. 
unpopular opinions over here. I don't believe those things, by the way. <laughs> Let me make that clear. Those are just things that would rile them up and make the next minute and 20 seconds One left to green. less boring. Roughly so. It'll take us to get around this thing. This two mile track. Going highway speeds. If it uh, wasn't non-tire save mode before, it definitely is now. Time to take the corners how you may. How you wish. What you need to do. Not like I had any tires to put on it anyway. Unless well, I'm going to put left sides on. We want to turn around and go backwards, maybe I'll need those left sides. Let me not fake out the field by accident this time with stutter starts. I just, it's, I think I can see him moving, and then it's, I don't. I'm probably just going to get myself rear-ended doing that too much, so let me get out of that habit. Go green, stay focused. Oh, let's close it up. Here we go. Car is okay, off. I thought I saw him again. They didn't go. And again. Green, green, green. It's not going, I guess. Holy smokes. A little tiny tap to the front of him. I had to lift off a little bit, not to kill the guy. Oh, wow, okay. No line for me, so I'm not just going to plow him over. Oh my god, guys, come on! Seriously, <sighs> guys? Out. Line up single file. What that mean, Russell? What, is, what does that mean? It's closed. I mean, can't just go green then, the race. Catch up three, car. Hell no, nah, boy. We got stuff by the middle of Mark. Pick up some milk and some dog food for Lady Bird. Get our guess out. Make it our guess out. Look at our guess out. Come flying around the inside like the last guy did. <sighs> Pick me okay. up a book at Megalo Mart while you're at it, too, so I have something to do. They were all kinds of four wide. Yeah, one more drink, I got. Full course yellow, pits are open. Oh. And the lady behind them got three wide. Half that, 17, car. A lot of check it up, no check it up. But yeah. Yep, sounds pretty typical. We're gonna get a three lap shoot up. I need a caution thirty seconds into the laps what we're gonna get. I'm fifteen drive by man. Sorry, dude. It's all good. It's all good, man. He the lucky dog? Is he? Oh, I guess he's waiting until it actually lets him go. Okay. You can get yourself black flagged on that. You're not careful. <sighs> okay, so lap 55 is two to green. Lap 56 is one to green. So we're going to be going with four laps, is that correct? Three laps. Five, six. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> please. There can't be that many people left to wreck, right? Like, oh, there's plenty. Okay. Love to be able to race. I wanted to drive highway speeds, I would get into 
my Chevy Spark and head to Taco Bell or something. Pits are open. Who's taking left side tires? <laughs> Race winning move. Taking the left sides. I'm going in, I'm just kidding. Think I tricked anyone? I'm pretty deceptive, I know. Crowd is on their feet. Probably leaving. One to go, next time by. You got five laps to go. Beating the traffic out. <laughs> That's full house. Well, at least we're not at Pocono doing long pace laps. That's even worse. There are a couple tracks that are worse pace laps. True, how the hell did you end up up front? Well, I couldn't pit last time because I used up all my tires. So uh, mm -hmm. then everybody kept wrecking. Yeah. He saw all these cautions in his fortune teller magic crystal ball. He looked into it and saw four wide in the back of the field. He knew what was upcoming. Can we drive? Can we race? About to go green. Four did overtake focus. three. About to get hit. One more caution. checker, one more, and that'll be it. Please, don't let it end like a dud fart. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green flag, green flag. Green flag. Hey, we need to till green again. I'm coming on up here. You guys can block all you want. Inside. What do the kids say? YOLO! Oh no! No, the kids say, oh no! Car outside. Wasn't the line to take, my friend. Clear outside if you want it. Oh! You all are my best friends. I love you all. How many times has that single guy hit me this race? I don't know, I'll look at it later. Outside is clear. You knuckleheads wreck again. P6. Prove it. The tires are not happy, believe it or not. I left half of them sizzling on the surface of the track in turns one and two. I guess I didn't get a 4x or anything from that. Right sides. <laughs> there with the tire. Watch out, man. I got a turn. It ain't gonna turn. Well, obviously our chance to win is gone, but maybe we can drive back into the top five. If they don't wreck people in the back. Two to go. Two to go. <laughs> if we're going to be able to do it. I was in the middle three wide. I swear someone hit me in the rear. They're going to absolutely wreck. Three wide. You just got the white flag. Alright, now we got white flags so they can't end the race now. Get one more lap at least. Tires, they just got ripped off, getting slid through the corner. That's very frustrating.
Oh, leaders on the wall. You win, John. We're in sixth place. Okay, it's over. Yeah, good win. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Good win, John. Great job. You did really well. Thanks, bro. I'm gonna look at that because I have to decide whether I'm mad or not. Ended up a good finish, Drew. Good win, Mr. Hill. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, I appreciate it there, Bobby. Should check that replay again there, 14. Who am I sending hate mail to? I guess I came down. I thought he was going to be on the low line. Sorry though for the contact there on the restart three. I thought you were going to be on that lower line. I didn't expect you to be there. No, it's all good. I, uh, yeah, I'm just racing. I got to get three monitors or something. This looking left and right doesn't work out all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had too many fast cars in the back of the pack. It's just causing mayhem. All right. Well, it was my fault. I just, uh, I expected him to be taking that preferred line down here, and he was up a lane higher. And I shouldn't have assumed. I should have looked left. If I had the triple monitors, I would just be able to see him. But without uh, Seven, having six, that four, ability, yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I have to actually physically look, look left and right. And, uh, well, sometimes... I don't do that, because I make assumptions. At least I saved it. it sucks. Still zero X though. <sighs> and still got sixth, so. Oh well. And it'll be my fault. So disregard anything after I said, uh, after that incident. Still ran into me from behind earlier in the race, though, so I can still complain about that. <laughs> Incidents! What's going on? Lap 1. Turn. Not even turn 1. It looks like the 13 kind of shifted weirdly or something. Yeah, it's hot in here. I got to turn the heat off or something after this. Uh, so we got we saw the little bit of contact from behind. Lap 17. Well, that was a big jump to lap 17. Until we get a guy in the wall. Then what do we have? That doesn't look like anything either. Do we have a caution? Uh, up to this point? Ooh. Well, if we didn't, we did now. We did now. So it was a bounce off the wall. John, are you still in here? Yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, so that was our first caution. Are you, you stabbing the brakes hard on corner inch or are you letting this thing roll? Okay. Uh, I'm not really stabbing the brakes too hard. Uh. So what happened here is the 21's frustrated with the 12 because he's sitting a mile back. I kind of get it. Like, get up there, try to get some spots. I don't know why you're taking so far back. But... Yeah, that's, yeah. That's Maybe I mean. not the nicest method to go about it, but I see why you did it. But as far as like me, I, I don't really stab the brakes. So I'm just kind of like get into the brake and slowly let off the brake and I just gradually get back into the throttle. So my wall hits. Okay. I just you know there's times where I'm dead even with a somebody and it seems like they can just they can get it to the bottom and I'm I'm not being able to get it there unless I slow it up a little bit more. Uh oh Number nine. Yeah, no, it's just all. I mean, Wall on entry. Like this is off, just and five's in the wrong place at the wrong time, but apparently he did fine because he ended up third. Wait, really? Man, they gotta update the damage model here. Are you serious? A lot of people will think, like, my first race here this week, I took four These cars tires, are way too forgetting, and forgiving. Second, and then a car came out, I took four tires, I dropped my like nine. I still got second in that race, but I probably that. took two tires. I way probably would have got first. Maybe, I don't know, depend on if I would, if I'm not going to be that guy, but then I learned two tires is the way to go, the whole race, it doesn't matter like what lap it is, two tires is what you always want to do. Yeah. 
I took two last night, the 15 to go, and man, with three three left, I was swearing I should have took four. Yeah. Ty just decides that no, because he has a run, he's just going to bump into the back of that guy. Of course, the pace picked up to, you know, qualifying speeds. Oh, yeah. And it just tore him off, man. I was like, man, I... I, I felt like it, the left would have uh -oh. gave me a little What's more. Happening here. But anyway, I'll be on here race tomorrow if you're in here, man. I'll see when you. He just runs him over. Yeah, good job, John. For Jager. I just doors him into the wall. At Seventeen. He comes off the corner in the middle, coming off a of four, right in the middle lane. I don't know, man. And when you got a car on ET, you have to get a little bit of room. You didn't get nothing. In fact, it kind of came down in the middle of the lane even more after it came off the corner. Ridiculous. Mm. Source of argument here. Yeah, he's clueless. He's complaining for me because I passed the start finish line on the white line, and he wanted to pinch me down there and not let me off. Yeah, the you got to be higher up on the track. The entire rest of the I mean, you also could just and not come, the turn. come up and hit a guy, but. Well, I got around the 17 because he was slow. A bunch of guys passed him. I don't know if he took too tired. I don't, I don't know if that was his, well, I don't know why. But anyway, he, a bunch of guys passed him. So and you he, just got to both give him. each other more room. And I went underneath him, and I was ahead of him. And you don't have contact. Turn, and I gripped the car up, and I was in the middle. And then I hit him before I was in the oh, my God, second what's lane. Like? If you look at the pavement lines, there's five of them. He was riding in the middle. All right? And so he came off in the middle, too. I mean, when you got a what's car the, in the middle, uh... you can't just fucking do that. These people want to pinch everybody down. Well, I can't see you when my car's past you. My right in the middle for some reason. I couldn't see either when he, was on, when he was trying to pinch me down. Doing basically the same thing. It's like, I've been racing online since 1995, okay? And just in the last, like, five... All right, I've had enough. Uh, so, I don't know why the 19's that far down the track, if he's trying to pinch him or what, but... If he's doing it on purpose, that's pretty short-sighted because, okay, maybe you keep the spot for this corner, but you're just going to lose so much time to everyone ahead, like, that's just giving up and saying, like, oh, I'm only going to get sixth, I guess, and then, obviously, this can happen, too. So, yeah, I don't know why the 19's holding it there. Maybe you just wanted to rip off more of that paint so you could see the secret hidden one under it some more. What? <laughs> 21, what are you doing? Are you, do you close your eyes on restarts? What's this? Okay, sure, you see the guys go and you're like, okay, maybe. But then you see they're not going. L listen, he's still throttling up when he hits them. What are you doing? <laughs> Use your eyeballs. And the 7 just runs him over. Or the 20 over. What's going on here? 20 is pretty low on the track, but just runs him over. Doesn't really work out for either of them either. If you're going to do that, at least be going faster so we can watch it blow over. But these are the things that are causing these instant wrecks. These are the moves. He hits the wall pretty hard. Oh, that's embarrassing. Well, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that 20. Oh, the incidents want us to see it though, because you lost a tire doing it. I'm sorry, that's embarrassing. So we got multiple wrecks going on at once here. 20, 21, I already see, is not holding his brakes, so. He's a smart decision factory. Okay, what what happened up here? Mm hmm. 21 slides up and hits the two. Which causes more guys to spin, and then he's not holding his brakes. Some people, I swear, they just, like, they get in a crash, and then they're, like, getting up out of their seat and walking and getting a snack or something. Just lets it roll. 
I swear he's still not even touching the <laughs> equipment, just letting it hit the wall. So, that's a big pile of destruction there. Just kind of hoping we'd see some more of it, but uh, I think that was it for these final cautions. Even though they're trying, I don't know what they're doing back here. And there's my stanky move there. I'm just, I'm thinking like, alright. I saw him entering in the third lane. So presumably, he's going to move down to the preferred line like these guys did, but he just didn't. And that was all my fault. Thankfully he was okay with it. But at the time I thought like he was at the bottom lane and then drifted up somehow and that's what happened. That's why I was initially like frustrated. But no, nope, I should have been looking to the left. So thankfully we save it. Had to save a couple times this race. Actually I'm gonna kinda wanna go back and look at the first save. Had to save it a couple times. Wall just got from guys giving it all they got on these closing laps here. Here's a Third wide, three wide. Oh my gosh, that could have ended the race right there. Why didn't it end the race? Holy cow! What is going on back here? How did that not cause a caution to end the race? Oh my gosh, the tire flying off. Oh my. So what? What exactly happened here? Is another person running into that seven? Haven't we seen someone else run into the seven already? Yeah, six. When you see people going three wide in front of you, you have to assume they're going to be taking the corner softer to make sure they can hold their line. And, uh, six was not ready for that. So he takes out the seven. And, uh, causes a chain reaction. Mmm, nine just gets tagged, and that's a hard hit to the outside wall. And I guess, yeah, there's no one behind the two, so that's why the caution didn't come out. And everyone else is moving in the right direction, so that's why the caution didn't come out. That easily could have been the caution, though. So at least we got the finish under green. And then, coming to the checkered, four almost chokes it away. He's lucky no one was uh, right there behind him. That's, uh, that was that. So that's my own fault. I didn't have much more of a chance at the end there. I don't know what we're doing here. Okay, I thought he was gonna like run into him or something. <laughs> Got like Jaws sneaking up on about a 20 celebrating 16th place finish, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't have an explanation for that. Too much lead in the water or something. Anyway, P6. I would have liked the top five, but uh, it's my own fault that I fell outside of the top five by making that mistake on the restart, by not being more aware of my surroundings, so only person blames myself. Um, strategy, we couldn't really get any strategy because of so many cautions and stuff, so that was too bad, but uh, not too bad. We had that pretty, we had a pretty long green stretch at one point here, so, you know, we got 20 laps off the start, and then we had... What was this, 10 laps there? So at least it wasn't completely caution fest. But uh, I think I could do a little bit better, given another chance, different circumstances, but uh, you can say that about any race, I guess. So anyway, hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, enjoyed uh, the green laps we did get. And uh, I'll see you somewhere else for this next week of iRacing content. All right, see you there. Oh, right, and here's that uh, save from before, because <laughs> I said I would give it. Not that crazy, but uh, hey, I'm glad I was able to save it both times. <laughs>